Karen Froelich is suing her former fiancé, Kenneth Pleasant, for unpaid loans, a car restocking fee, and punitive damages for fraud. Order. All rise. This is case number 50 on the calendar in the matter of Froelich versus Pleasant. Thank you. You're welcome, Judge. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Ms. Froelich, you met the defendant online. Is what I did. I and you began dating, and according to you, things progressed very quickly. He gave you a ring, is that correct? He gave me the ring a bit later, right. When? The night that I went to um, repossess the car. He gave you a ring? Yeah. That, that night? Yes, he did. <laughs> to show that he still loved me. Okay, forget the ring. There came a time when the two of you discussed moving. Yes. Sir. According to you, you paid certain expenses for that move because you were planning on moving in together. Am I reading that right? Or am I not reading it no, right? Uh, the expenses were uh, things that he made up um, at the time. I didn't know he was making it up. When did you and Mr. Pleasant start dating? Month and year? It was February 26, 2018. And when was it that you gave him the first sum of money? It was March 22nd, which was the day after uh, he pinned me down to um, find out when we would get married. He wanted okay. to know when So you he met did. him in February, and in March he needed money? Yes. Okay. ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling ling <laughs> That's a bill. How much money did he need, and for what? The first amount of money was uh, $3,500, which um, for what? I gave him because he said to move to um, Diablo to get out of the apartment he was in. He had already had a nine-month lease on it left. I have the paperwork here, Your Honor, of his um, showing me how much uh, he needed to get may out I, of his apartment rent. May I see? And so that was uh, the first 3500 Okay, so the first amount of money that he needed was to get out of his lease so that the two of you could move in together in another city. Right. And he needed $3,500. Did you, in fact, give him the $3,500? I did. Did you give it to him in check or cash? It was cash. Do you have a showing to me where you took the $3,500 from? Uh, the answer is either yes or no. Yes. Show me. Where did you take, in March, the $3,500 from? Well, okay, I don't have exact... Fine, so $3,500 right. gone. Pardon me? No, gone! Oh, you know... No, I'm telling you, the oh, $3,500 okay. is gone. My, yeah. Because you need proof. I We're do talking have proof, about some. Uh, don't give me all that paperwork. Okay. I don't want to look at all that paperwork. Okay. Either you wrote him a check for $3,500 to his apartment complex, or you gave him cash of $3,500. You said it was cash. I... Nobody has $3,500 in cash laying under their mattress. So you have to show me when in March you took out $3,500 to give him from a savings account, from a checking account. Don't give me a whole bunch of papers. I don't want to see a whole bunch of papers. I want you to show me from a bank account where you took out $3,500. I did not have to withdraw money. I do keep money at home in okay. cash. Well, I'm telling you, he says you didn't give him any money. You can't prove to me that you did. He says he never received it. Do you have any communication from him? I do. From don't show me a whole bunch of papers. I don't want to see a whole bunch of papers. Okay. I'm not reading your life story. All I want to see is an acknowledgement from him that he received from you $3,500. That's all. Fine. You purchased a car. This isn't about the $3,500. No, this is about a car that you purchased for him. For how much? 11500 And you repossessed that car. I did. And they gave you money back, but you were charged a restocking fee. That's correct. Show me. This doesn't say he owes you $3,500. It, it was the lump sum, Your Honor. This doesn't say he owes you $3,500, and I can't tell what it's for, because all of this has to do with a car. Let's go. All I want to see is the restocking fee for the car. What are you showing me? Uh, in the back there are the receipts that I paid for the car. That's, that's your problem. You were moving in with him. I want to know You're how much money, forget this $3,500 that you have no proof of,